worth an extra. Mm. All aboard. Here we go. Steady. Easy, tiger. Wow. Never fails. You can't get fresher than extra. One of the great films of all time. A fantasy masterpiece. Outstanding. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Time is running out. Send in your self-assessment tax return by the 31st of January, or you'll get a £100 penalty and start getting charged interest on anything you owe. You need to do it now. Self-assessment. Tax doesn't have to be taxing. Do you think men and women are totally different? Research shows that men can be just as moody as women. And women are just as technical as men. And it's a bit of a myth that only men need to look after their hearts. Whether male or female, people with healthy hearts tend to eat more whole grain food, like 100% whole grain shredded wheat or Cheerios with four whole grains. Maybe we're not so different after all. Think about your heart with shredded wheat and Cheerios. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. A poor life this, if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Centre Parks. For a brochure, call 08705 200 222. My aim? Targeting wrinkles, firmer skin. Revitalift from L'Oreal Paris with Pro Retinol A nanosomes designed to target where wrinkles need it most. Revitalift reduces the appearance of even the most visible wrinkles and firms the skin in just four weeks. Revitalift from L'Oreal Paris, UK's best selling anti wrinkle cream. At Marks and Spencer, our Count on Us range has over 200 different products. Guaranteed to contain less than 3% fat. So it's perfect for people who like to watch what they eat. Marks and Spencer's Count on Us range. Extraordinary food every day. We all fall in love. And we all get colds. Hopefully not on the same day. Thank goodness for Kleenex tissues. Always pack a Kleenex pocket pack so you can share your feelings and not your cold. At Magnet, we make buying a new kitchen even more of a pleasure because our half price sale is now on with an extra 10% off sale prices until Saturday. Why doesn't your computer do what you want it to? With PC Success, you learn step by step how it works. Issue one at News Agents Now for just $1.99. At Danussi, we build our reputation on advancement through technology. So we would only endorse a dishwasher detergent that lived up to Danussi's reputation. The performance of a number of brands was subjected to independent scientific analysis. The results were conclusive. For powerful cleaning and brilliant shine, we would recommend only Finnish powerful technology. Finnish, we have put our name to it. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. A poor life this if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Centre Parks. For a brochure, call 08705 200 222. Wrinkles? Forget about wrinkles. Now there's a new Nivea Visage Anti-Wrinkle Q10. Dual Action Q10 Plus R. With two of your skin's own coenzymes, it's clinically proven to visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles. I never liked wrinkles anyway. The new Nivea Visage Q10 Plus reduces the appearance of wrinkles in just four weeks. At Magnet, we make buying a new kitchen even more of a pleasure. 
because our half price sale is now on with an extra 10% off sale prices until Saturday. It's the winter sale at Tiles R Us. This 20% off bathrooms and showers, 15% off all tiles. And if you collect your tiles, we'll give you an extra discount equivalent to your VAT. And don't forget our huge range of quality graded appliances at hotspot discount prices. Don't miss the winter sale at Tiles R Us. It's on now. Don't miss the DFS sale. There's double the discount on a huge choice of special offers. So you save not once, but twice on all these sofas and many, many more. As well as double sale savings, everything comes with not one, not two, but three years free credit. And everything's free for a year. Hot foot it down to DFS. Double the discount end Sunday, 5 p.m. because it's just great value for money. They always want different things. We're, We're all chocolates. I love chocolate pie. Good job everything is so low priced. Rollback's great. I seem to spend less every time. It's nice to be able to treat ourselves. I always go to Asda because I always get low prices. You were working as a waitress and cocktail bar when I met you. Now, five years later on, you've got the world at your feet. Success has been so easy for you. But don't forget it's me to put you where you are now. And I can put you back down to... Don't... Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why doesn't your computer do what you want it to? With PC Success, you'll learn, without the technical jargon, step by step, how it works. Writing letters, creating graphics, and using the internet is made so simple. You can even save money by learning to book a holiday online. And it's brilliant for beginners of any age. PC Success, issue one at newsagents now, with free World Atlas and power publisher CD-ROMs for just $1.99. Let me go! To your lover? Heck no! To Quick Save, they've got strong both cider bowl packs at half price. Ralph's Fish Choice in sauce is half price. And one liter of Lucasade Original is half price too. Quick Save, making a drama out of our prices. It's all very confusing. Is that baby lotion she's washing me with? You're half right. Well, one third, because there is one third baby lotion in new Johnson's Baby Soft Wash. That's right, for perfect baby soft skin. Soft wash, and now in fresh and calming too. Yes! Do you think men and women are totally different? Research shows that men can be just as moody as women, and women are just as technical as men. And it's a bit of a myth that only men need to look after their hearts whether male or female people with healthy hearts tend to eat more whole grain food like 100 percent whole grain shredded wheat or cheerios with four whole grains maybe we're not so different after all think about your heart with shredded wheat and cheerios finish with the first to combine detergent rinse aid and salt action in a three-in-one tab now they've made their ultimate breakthrough. New finish 3-in-1 Total with powerful red stain soakers. Extra power to soften even the toughest dried on food, helping to soak it away. So Finish's unique Powerball technology can deliver a brilliant shine. Time after time after time. New finish 3-in-1 Total. Total power and our ultimate shine.
Everyone's getting ready to welcome Bear in the big blue house and his friends into their homes. Nine toys, one with every McDonald's Happy Meal. Ashamed of your mobile? Then get yourself a new one on T-Mobile and save up to 75% in the massive phones for you sell now on. We'll find the right phones for you. Don't you want no percent finance on any Fiat? Don't you want me, baby? Of course you do. Call 0800 71 7000. The nation has recoiled in shock to read that the saintly England captain should be at the center of such sordid allegations. His devotion to his wife and family has always made him seem a brilliant role model for young men everywhere. Could the squeaky clean Beckham really have been at the center of such a scandal? Well, in a minute, we talk to the girl at the eye of the storm, Beckham's for former PA in Madrid, Rebecca Lose. Here's how this sensational story unfolded. Rebecca Luce, the woman alleged to have had a fling with Beckham, has now reportedly sold her story to a Sunday newspaper. Today, the Beckhams return to Spain, sweeping off to catch their private jet together. From their holiday chalet today, a show of unity from the Beckhams, or perhaps a lesson in damage limitation, especially for the cameras. A peck on the cheek, broad grins, the message, all is well with Britain's golden couple. Rumours, of course, suggest otherwise. David Beckham leaves his wife today to return to Real Madrid. That won't exactly be a happy homecoming either. In the latest show of togetherness, Posh took Bex for a ride in the grounds of their Hertfordshire mansion, in full view of the cameras, beaming outside carriages, cavorting on quad bikes. Observers say so far, with today's pictures, the Beckhams are winning the PR battle. But there's more to come. And Rebecca's here now with us. Rebecca, would you describe what you say happened between you and David Beckham as a love affair? Um, it happened very quickly. So, you know, it was a space of ten days that him and I had a bit of a fling so it's a and fling. it was over so i'd say it was more of a fling mm. did um, you ever feel that you you were in love with him or that he might be with you no i felt that i was falling for him pretty fast but then again it was over so quickly that did you, you ever know. have a, uh, as it unfolded and and there you were going to bed with the england captain did it ever occur, <laughs> well you know did it ever occur to you that uh, you might have a strategy perhaps for for making him yours making it full time um, not in other at words, all. stealing him off. Victoria. No, not at all. Um, the thing is, I didn't fall for the England captain, or I didn't fall for hmm. the image. I fell for the man behind that. So that was where my feelings came from. You said in your Sky interview, didn't you, that um, he was extremely courteous and punctilious towards mm. you. Um, very, very well mannered. Gentleman. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you were having dinner together with, with, with friends, he'd make sure you had what you wanted and make sure you had the wine. And was just very, very, very gentlemanly. Yes. Do you think, looking back, that was a strategy to, uh, to seduce you? I've thought about that. It has crossed my mind, yes. Um, I'm not quite sure. Mm. I'm not quite sure. All the speculation in the press, certainly, has been that um, it happened, if it happened, because um, he was lonely, because uh, Victoria was not in Spain. Would you mm. agree with that? To a great extent, I would. Yes, I feel that if there hadn't been a gap in that bed, I wouldn't have been in it. Did he, did he tell you that he was lonely? He often said how much he missed his family, how much he missed the boys. He, he would never sit there and say, oh, I'm really lonely, because that's not what you do, is it? I mm. mean, I think he missed, um, he was a little bit homesick and he missed his family. Did you, did you, did you, did you sense it was going to happen? I mean, we've, we've, everyone's seen these pictures of, of the night in question, the night mm. when you, you ended up in bed together and you were filmed and photographed and stuff at, uh, you see it, guys? Um, at the Madrid nightclub. Um, and in a moment we'll see you leaving together and you... Wow! Never have seen the seen actual oh, yeah, tape. You're having, a, you're having a good time. The body language uh, says it all, <laughs> as, as you'll see a bit later. Gosh. Um, did it, when you did go back, and you, and you did end up, as you say, in, in the same bed as him, were you astonished that this was happening? Because to the world, to everyone else, David Beckham's reputation was squeaky clean. He was the, the, the most happily married man in the world. So were you kind of gobsmacked that you would actually ended up in bed with him? I was the morning I woke up. Really? Yeah, I was the morning I woke up. I did feel it... I could feel it was on the cards and it was going to happen and I was fighting it off because I knew that my job was at stake and I knew that he was a married man so mm. I kept sort of 
you know, I, I, he'd say things and I'd think, oh, I could take that the wrong way, but no, you know, don't. So when it did happen, um, it was a big surprise. I did wake up feeling and did, really And in the subsequent sort of encounters in, in flagrante that you had, be, before and afterwards, when you're in those very private moments, sexual moments and private moments, did he, like many cheating husbands, did he, did he occasionally put his head in his hands and say, what am I doing, or I, I'm sorry about this, but I feel so guilty about my wife? Did he ever express any oh, kind of remorse or guilt? That. <laughs> Pardon? No, I don't really want to talk about sort of what happened in the bedroom and things well, right, like that. All right, then, outside the bedroom. All right, I'll ask yeah, you in a more general not way. Not really. Did he ever give you an indication that he felt guilty about what was happening? No. Not didn't. at all? No. Did he ever give you the indication, and there's nothing personal or private here, um, that uh, he was frightened of being caught? We were very careful. Well, all those texts. Well, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. So, so, so you, you I, rem I remember one account is that you said that uh, at one point in the relationship when it seemed that uh, Victoria might be getting suspicious, mm. um, that you gave, you, his, one of David Beckham's personal friends asked to borrow your, your phone, your mobile phone, because mm. he had mm. broken his or mm. something or lost his, and that when you got it back, you found all the texts were deleted. Mm. This is the thing. When when I was having this fling with him, I erased everything I got from him. You know, because I I don't have any text messages from him until the you know the last few weeks. Because well, obviously they come I've got from? my own life. I've got my own friends texting me. You don't have enough room in a mobile no, phone no, the to keep everything in there. Quickly, yeah, yeah, your memory builds up. And yes, they did try to get my phone off me. But are you saying that those texts, as um, as, as as kind of printed in in, in the expurgated mm. versions in the press, they are right. They are correct. Yes, that did happen. They are. Oh, who got hold of them then? Do you know? You'll have to ask News of the World that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Well, but, but what about the texts that you've been um, holding up him and you, you, you were holding The ones I've sent to him? Uh, yes. I haven't kept, I don't keep my sent messages either. You erase your, your memory because it gets too full. But, are, all right, let's put it another way. Are, are the texts that have appeared in papers like the News of the World, um, do you recognise them as the texts that you received and that yeah, you sent? Yeah, they're, do. They're, they're unfortunately, I do. Well, they're far too explicit for us, to, really are far too explicit for us to show um, at this time of night with uh, kids watching, but we can tell you that if the full versions of those texts will be seen um, on uh, the, uh, the repeated programme, Rebecca Lowe's My Story, which is uh, on Sky One Mix tonight at 10 o'clock, and they'll be showing all of the complete texts there. Um, just going back to... To David and Victoria, and, and I know mm. you don't want to talk too much publicly or, mm. or speculate too much publicly about mm. what state their relationship is in at the moment, but it can't mm. be very good. Mm. Um, do you feel guilty about that? Um, it's a very good question. Uh, I did play a part in it. <laughs> Fifty percent of it, love. Well, <laughs> so did he. Mm. I mean, you know, he did. Oh, no, no, it takes two to tango. So, and we now know I wasn't the only one. So. Do you believe those other, other stories? I do, actually. Were you aware of them at the time? No. So, you, so did you think you were the first one then? Yes. Did you? Did yes. he tell you that? Stupidly. <laughs> did, did he tell you that? Did he say you're the first? Um, I did ask him whether he'd, um, you know, I, as you do, we were sort of in bed, and I said, oh, you must have so many lovers. And I was, as a friend, I was really keen to know, tell me the stories, and mm. he said, oh, no, of course not. I'm far too much of a public figure, and really? I can't do this sort of thing. So that made me feel even more. So do you feel that you're the bite a bit a little bit then? Not really. I can... You know, you can take I knew it. it afterwards. Cause when, <clears throat> when did it end? And, and, and what, I mean, how abrupt was uh, the cessation of contact with David Beckham? <coughs> um, after the 10-day fling? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty abrupt, obviously, because um, Victoria had flown out to Madrid and, uh, you know, I was pushed to one side and, and told not to contact him nor her and just to lay low for a few weeks. So I didn't hear from him for a while. He did, from time to time, text me and say, are you OK? It's difficult for me, which I completely understood. Mm. I mean, it was difficult for me, but it must have been even more difficult for him. You mm. know, he's got family and things mm. like that. So now, one did of the you, things did that you say, sorry, did you say, um, during the Sky interview, you, you said at one point that he made derogatory remarks about Victoria's appearance to you. Is that mm. right? No, what he, he was concerned about how much she ate. He was very often, when we'd have lunches and things, often sort of encouraged her to eat more and things. Mm. But didn't he say, I think you said in the interview, I, I, I'm paraphrasing, that, that he told you that he no longer found her attractive because she'd lost so much weight. We were in the nightclub, I'll tell you the story, we were in the yeah. nightclub the night the pictures were taken and we were talking about what sort of girls or boys we like mm -hmm. and things like that mm -hmm. and he said he liked sort of very womanly, curva curvaceous um, figures and I looked quite surprised obviously because it's mm -hmm. not nothing like his wife and he said, yeah, you wouldn't think that, would you? And I said, no, you know, so it was... Conversations along the lines of that. I see. All right. He didn't specifically say that he did not find her sexually no. attractive. No. What about? I mean, there's, uh, the other stuff in the press about you is that you're, you're bisexual. Is that mm. is that correct? Yes, it is correct. It is correct. So is uh, it bothered that that's come out? No, not at no. all. 
No. You're, you're completely comfortable with yeah, your sexuality? Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, my friends know, my, my family know. It's something I've always been very open about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's and did David know? Was, was David... Yeah, he did, actually. Yeah. And what did he think about that? <laughs> he... I think he quite liked it, yeah. yeah. What, you mean he turned, he turned him on? Yeah, but it's not something we... You know. no. do, do you think... What do you think is the future? Um, um, you don't obviously know what's going through Victoria's mind any more than we do, mm -hmm. but... Um, do you think that, th that she'll find it easy to come to terms with this? Do you think they've still got a future? Well, I hope they have. I hope they have. Um, well, all right, let me put, ask you to put yourself in her position. Well, I think every think... relationship goes through, through hiccups, um, and I think that's what makes a relationship strong and keeps it, keeps it going in many ways. But so you're I... saying that there were others. I mean, that doesn't imply hiccups, does it? It no. implies a serial hiccup, mm. really, mm. basically, right mm. from the start. Just put yourself in Victoria's place, though, and if that happened oh, to you... Not. <laughs> No, no, but, but listen, yeah. it, you're a woman, mm -hmm. and you know, and yep. you, 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 that happened to you. Um, could you ever trust your husband ever again? Me personally? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big no, no. It would be the end for you. Yes. All right. Let's for me personally. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. not what I would advise other people to do. Yeah. I'm not married, I don't have children. No. It's a different yeah. story. Let's, mm. let's talk about why you've, you've gone public. Um, again, in the Sky interview, you, mm -hmm. you dealt with that by saying that, uh, that you didn't want to live a lie. Um, and that it had happened, mm. and that uh, it had huge consequences for mm. you. You'd lost your job and all of that. Um, it was bound to get out someday, so you thought basically you'd take the bull by the horns mm. and, and, you'd, and you'd handle it. Was yeah, that, and that, I was that, very affected by the sort of things people were saying about me and the, the amount of lies that were being printed, and suddenly I'm being linked to other tennis players who I'd never even met in my life. That saying was I'd had Pat Cash, wasn't yes. it? And you'd never met him? Never met no. him. You know. So you thought, get in on the table and... So um, I, I was quite... Um, I felt I had a right to stand up and sort of s s speak for myself. But you know that most people watching think you did it for the money. Yeah. You know, you know they think that. Absolutely. So what would you say to them? Well, I'd first of all say it's nothing like the money what's being printed. And I'd... What, a million quid? I no, God, no, we're near that. But I'm not going to go into the figures. But um, it wasn't about the money. It was just about standing up for myself. And this is the advice I got from my parents. They said, you know, you should, you should be true. You, you know, you should stand up for your rights. And not... What are your rights, then? <laughs> What, what do you mean your rights? What are your rights? Well, I don't think it's right for me to have to ha listen to all the complete lies being published about me in the papers. and Were you, were called, you asked? You know, uh, sleazy, sleazy and all the nicknames I was being called. I'm, isn't, I was that the price? Being... isn't that the price of sleeping with, a, with an incredibly famous married man? Isn't, isn't that what, that's what comes with it? That's, that's the garbage that you, that's going to come, come back at you at some mm. point, isn't it? It's a consequence. Yeah. Well, I never really thought about it that way. I think I was being but, a bit too emotional. Were you angry with David um, when you lost your job? Did you feel he'd let you down? <coughs> no, it's such a difficult situation. To, um, we were both adults and we both knew what we were getting into. I mean, I knew mm. that, the, that there were consequences, which was to lose my job. Um, and, you know, I was willing to go ahead with it regardless. Why um, do you think, in a recent po phone, uh, uh, newspaper poll, 50% of the respondents blamed you mm. for this affair, 50% blamed Victoria, and almost nobody blamed David Beckham. That's amazing. What do you make of that? I, I find it amazing. Do you think he should take his share of the blame for this? I think he should. And I think he should be. He was the one that consciously invited me in. But I think in, nowadays it's, it's often that, isn't it? The guys often get a pat on the back when, when they're right. very successful. And, well, we have to make mm. it clear. Everyone knows this, but he's issued two statements. Mm -hmm. um, t totally, totally d denying that uh, he's had this relationship. And right. he says it's just, one, just another ludicrous story. How, if you, you're a PR lady. How would you handle this? I'm a PR? PA. PA, all right. But you know about... <laughs> PR firm. A PR firm. You know yeah. about public relations. Just in a couple of sentences, how would you handle the Beckham's PR now? What would you advise him to do? If you, if you uh, haven't had the affair, I'm not, you... I'm not going to give them any advice what to do in the last person to start telling them what they should be doing. Do you think you should come out and do this? Do you think you should come out and say... I'm, 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 that's, that's something that they need to decide and their advisors right. need to tell them, not me. Well, we should make, make out that uh, the Beckhams continue to deny it all. And you really believe, do you, that there's more to come? What do you mean, other... Other stories, other stories other, to other come out?